What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hannah and I just got ready for the gym. I'm wearing a Nutrition Corner sweatshirt along with a Nutrition Corner t-shirt. And some... I didn't tour. Well, I tore that. <laughs> and some athlete joggers. Uh, but I want to show y'all my pre-workout snack. First and foremost, uh, Haley shared her smoothie with me. She didn't even want it. I did want... I wasn't anticipating a smoothie, so I told her, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have... Well, I'll show you one. I'm having some Special K chocolatey delight. I don't know why I like this stuff so much. Like, it's a very average cereal, I guess you would say. Like, it's not even that good, but I really like it. And some Fairlife reduced fat milk. Uh, so that is gonna be my pre workout snack. So I walked in anticipating my cereal and I said, oh, I'm gonna have some cereal. Um, and she had already poured me some smoothie, so. I am, I am drinking it. So I'm gonna have the smoothie, some cereal, and then we're gonna go hit a leg day. It's game time like game day. That was a very good leg workout. The legs are already uh, starting to hurt. And I can definitely tell y'all that the gyms are getting busy again. Um, which, it is a good thing. Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, as a trainer, I am super stoked for everybody to have New Year's resolutions and to get into the gym and get active and get healthy. But, um, you know, I do enjoy an empty gym. Like, as a gym goer, I enjoy an empty gym, you know? Like, I like to be able to move around and do whatever I want. But as a trainer, I am absolutely stoked for y'all to be in the gym. But you know, it is what it is. Be friendly to the newcomers. Be friendly to the older people that have been going to the gym. Like, whatever you do, just be kind to them, all right? They're in the gym. They have the same goals as you. They want to be fit. They want to be healthy. All those things, all right? Be nice. Anyways, now that I'm home from the gym, I am extremely hungry. That leg workout took a lot out of me. I'm going to show y'all the best little personal pizzas you've ever had. I'm, I'm going to claim it. They are so, so good. And they're only like five ingredients. So we have pita bread. Uh, also, this is a super cheap meal. I think everything even combined is like maybe 10 bucks. And you get from just this one packaging, um, six different pizzas. So all the other ingredients last me, but I do have to end up buying another round of pitas after I've ate the six of them. But still, if you only want six of them, it's like 10 bucks for a few meals. So I think it's a really good deal. But anyways, so we have pita. And then we have this tomato sauce this one is basil garlic and oregano and this is only 88 cents mind you this, this little thing it's perfect and we have pepperonis i get the uh 70 less fat because i can have more of them and that is the key for me and then i get colby jack to put on my pizzas you can get mozzarella if that's what you want do whatever you want all right this is a personal pizza make it personal put on some mushrooms and pineapple whatever you want Make it what you want, all right? This is my pizza. So I'm gonna put this all together. Then I'm gonna tell you all the macros um, and show you all what it looks like when it's being put together and when it's done. Step one is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Then you're gonna get the pita out of the bag. What you're gonna do, put pitas on the pan That's step one. Uh, all we're doing is crisping up the pitas. Cause I, I mean, if you like your chewy, don't do this step, but like you only put it in for like maybe five minutes and then you get a really good crust on them. Um, and that's just how I like to enjoy them. All right, they crisped up within the five minutes. I'm going to grab a little spatula, toss them onto my plate, which I will show y'all. So 
have my plate with my scale and I'm just going to do a serving size of all of our ingredients which is the tomato sauce, the pepperoni, and the Kobe Jack cheese. Here's one that looks like before I put it in the oven. So I have one pita. I did not do a full serving of the sauce. I didn't need that much. Then I put one full serving of cheese and then a half serving of pepperoni. So I'm going to do the other one and then show you what it looks like when it's done. They are done and I cannot wait to devour. I'm telling you these things are so good. I have them multiple times a week and for both of them the calories are 610, the carbs are 68, protein is 35, and the fat is 21. All of that is in grams by the way. So I say for two pizzas that actually fill me up and it takes a lot to fill me up. Um, I think that they are exquisite and I am super stoked on them so I'm gonna go ahead and eat and then shower and then I gotta head back to work. I'm home from work and this one uh, made dinner, of course. She made some stir fry. Mine's heating up. It, it's rice, carrots and peas, oh, yeah. and chicken. I'd call that stir fry if you ask me. Uh, mine's zapping in the microwave currently. Such a weirdo. And I'm so excited because I am extremely hungry. And then later, Hannah and I are going to do, I bought some Tapo Chico seltzers. Uh, and we're gonna give you all a taste test on them because they just, I don't know, they sound kind of good, so. We have to good. do, we have to do wine tasting. I'm in a class where you do wine tastings every week and I have to give a blog about it. I guess we'll start a new series called <laughs> Wine Tasting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna eat and then we will give you all a nice little Tapo Chico seltzer review. We're going to try the Tapo Chico hard seltzers. If you hear anything in the background, Haley's making chicken, so. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but if you can, sorry. Uh, I'm going to shotgun my first flavor for the simple fact of if they're not shotgun worthy, then like it's gonna lower the score. Almost like I, everything is shotgun worthy. You don't taste it. Those the truly margaritas were not shotgun worthy. Well, I will say that. They weren't sipping worthy either. Yeah, they were just trash. So, all right, which one are you gonna try? There's tangy lemon lime. The, the, the guava. One. The guava. Okay. I that like, is the one that I feel like I'm not gonna like, so. Well, this is the one, like, usually strawberry is such a strong flavor that, like, it masks all the badness. That is true. I also don't like Tapa, Tapo Chico waters. I do, so I, so I have I hope. Yeah, I don't have hope um, this. You know what, I will tell you what I heard they taste like after we try them. Okay. Um, so I'm trying the exotic pineapple. Can I take a sip before you do it? Yes. Eat? But you can't tell me how... Okay. Well, then don't look at my face. Okay. I can't look at the camera either. <laughs> Are you done? Yep. Okay. Okay, I can kind of see your face. <laughs> Did you open yours? Yeah. <laughs> I guess let me try this one. I just don't love, like, strawberry guava things. Okay, let's go. That is so bad. That one is so yeah, bad. It's pretty bad. At least the strawberry one is a little bit better. I don't know. It's like so bad. It is. It doesn't. It's all right. I give that one like a two. This I, one maybe like a four. I mean, it's. It's not good. Don't even try to make up for it. Uh, I, I gotta decide on that one. Okay. It smells like celery in here. Here's the tropical mango. <laughs> Seltzers have to be lemonade something. I, th I think that one's better. That's probably like four and a half. Here's the lemon one. Okay. After trying that one, I'm gonna tell you what somebody told me they taste like. Sorry. They taste like hard candies. Well, why don't eat hard candies? The lemon lime literally tastes like if you put a lemon head in water and just like kind of let it disappear, like dissolve into it. No. That, be so, that's what I got. It'd be so diluted. All right, my my rankings. I After like the pineapple kind of sat in my mouth, I am enjoying it more. Uh, so pineapple, I will give a 5.4. The lemon lime. 5.4. A 5.4. That is such a specific, why not like, 
I don't know, that's what just came to my head. <laughs> Lemon lime. I'll go... I think they're pretty similar. I'd go 5-4 for that one too. The strawberry guava I thought was pretty trash. I'd give that like a 2.5. Do I have to And the tropical mango is like a 3.5. They're... I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy them again. Like, well, we they're just. The pack. We finished the truly margarita, so you oh, know yeah. we're gonna finish this pack. But I I, I'm glad I tried them. I don't know. They looked intriguing to me. 